Well, hello everybody. This is Miss Tish with you with another Cooking with Colors episode video. Well, as you can see, I am in the kitchen again. This time I am making my one of my sweet breads, which is sweet potato bread. Yes, and sweet potato muffins with nuts and without. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you the ingredients and I'm also going to post it in my description tab on um, with this video so you can get the recipe from where I got it from to make your own. But you know, I always tweak it, add a little bit extra here, add a little bit extra there or less here. So today I'm making my sweet potato bread. It's time to make those breads for my holiday season of my um, giving thanks out to my friends and family. So what I'm doing is that I parade some uh, sweet potato that I roasted in the oven, as you see in the red bowl. Now I'm adding my um, dry ingredients, which is my cinnamon and my bacon powders and my, I'm um, going to add the flour as well as some um, nutmeg. That's what I'm doing there, adding some nutmeg as well. And some other dry ingredients. All the dry ingredients go in one bowl. And I'm mixing, gonna put all those things together. So it could be mixed well before I add my wet ingredients <laughs> to make it do what it do. And also got some um, cannamon, 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 um, I put some of that in there. Also, another spice. So you're putting all the spices and um, herbs and stuff in the bowl that you will make sweet potato pie. So that's why I got out of this. It's like all a lot of the stuff that I'm using is what I would use to make sweet potato pie. And only thing I'm not putting in there is like you know some other other ingredients you might put in there like the um, the milk or something like that if you're using that. But like your ginger that goes in there as well. All those spices that make it smell and taste like sweet potato pie is going in this bowl. And I am enjoying making this. Now, the other time, the last video I just made, I made the sweet potato, um, not sweet potato, I made um, zucchini muffins and zucchini bread. So now I'm into the sweet potato. So I am going to um, now, going to go ahead and dump my sweet potato a cup of sweet potato in there but as you can see you know i'm gonna add a little extra you know that right it's always a little extra i gotta put in there always a little extra <laughs> so i'm going to go ahead and mix those together with those dry ingredients some seeds them spices with the sweet potatoes first so i'm mixing all my spices i put in there for my ginger my um condiment um from my cinnamon, nutmeg, all those dry, those ingredients I put in that bowl, I'm going to mix together with my sweet potato. And then once I mix that with my sweet potato, I'm going to add the next ingredient into the bowl so I can be able to get ready. So I had to go get my oil because, you know, I need some oil in there and some um, the sugars that I need to put in there as well. I don't use any white sugar, so the brown sugar is um, organic um, sugar in the raw, so it won't be as sweet as it would for the other type of white sugar. But this is an organic sugar. Um, I have some um, vegetable oil. I put in a cup of vegetable oil in there. And make sure your cups and everything clean, because you know, I don't like, if things don't look right, I'm going to wipe them out. I got to make sure my stuff is right. So now I'm putting a cup of my vegetable oil into the bowl and then I will mix those together as well. Put that down in there and then I'm going to mix that together. And also I'm going to make sure I put, I think I post, yeah, I needed some eggs also to put over there as well. But we're going to mix that. But before I mix it, I'm going to go ahead and put my sugars in there. You see? Yeah, I had to get down in there and get that sugar. That's right. Add it on to my bowl. To 
that's one cup i had a half a cup uh, mixing cup so i added two of those as to one cup now i'm mixing that together now once that is mixed i'll be adding the next ingredients into the bowl i believe the next thing i'm adding is my brown sugar yes the brown sugar now you know i said i'm not using white sugar but you know brown sugar is nothing but white sugar and they add molasses to it to make it brown so that's all that brown sugar is when you buy it from the store so if you have molasses if you already got molasses and you got some white sugar you can make your own brown sugar you don't have to go buy that so make sure when you add your brown sugar you pack it into the cup because you know you don't want the false measurements you want to make sure you get the right amount of things in there like i said i will be putting it the the um the amount of what i'm using in the description you have it in the link that you can go and get the ingredients for this sweet potato bread so now i'm gonna mix that get that nice and creamy real good mix it real good real good while i'm over there getting the rest of the things i need so now i'm going to add some more ingredients to get it ready so the next ingredient I'm going to add now is that I need to add my flour. Yes, I need to add my flowers. So now I'm going to, I have a half a cup right there. I like to level off my flour and I like to sift my all purpose, it's all purpose flour I'm using. I like to sift, anytime I'm baking, I sift my flour to make my flour nice and fluffy. Even though the packet may say they sifted it, no, I'm gonna go and do it again. And then I'm going to add is a cup and a one and three four cups. I think that's what it said um, of all purpose flour. Like I say, I will get the right measurement. You'll have that in the description um, place at the back at the bottom of the um, video. So I'm sifting that out and then I will be adding my flour to it once I sift that and now I'm gonna add in, oh, I haven't added my eggs. You see, I still have eggs down in there. Gotta add my eggs to it as well. So this flour is sifted. Now I'm gonna bring my mixer back up. And now it's time to add, what is that? Oh, I have egg. I think I, I, I added eggs already. Let's see. Oh, baking powder have to be added to the what? Well, in instruction, it said to add it to the mix, but I don't add any of the dry ingredients all to the mix. I add it to the dry bowl, mix them all up together, and then I add that into the mix. So I don't like to sprinkle the dry on top of like the baking powder, baking soda, and all that stuff back on top of in the wet. I like to put it all in my mix. And you see, I had to go get my ingredient, my, um, my, um, recipe from off the other area where i look at it at and put it right up here so i can see it so i won't have to keep walking back and forth so i am measuring out my baking powder and now i'm gonna add the baking soda the elements that need all in the dry with the flour add all that in there now the spices went in first with the sweet potato now i'm mixing in all the stuff that goes in my um flour substance like the baking powder baking soda and i believe um let me see i want to say do i need the salt i don't know if it, this needs salt because it didn't i didn't think i brought it over there so i don't know if it need any salt for that one because i know my zucchini i had to put some salt in it now it doesn't ask tell you to put in any vanilla but guess what i'm a vanilla girl i like to put vanilla in all my baking stuff so I make sure I put a couple um, teaspoon caps full in there. And now I'm gonna add my eggs to my wet. And I like to crack it in a bowl if possible before, cause it's not in an empty bowl. It's, I don't wanna put it in that good mixture right there and that's something when I crack it be inside my egg. And then I have to throw it all away and redo it. So three eggs go into my bowl and then I dump it right into the mixture. Once I dump it into the mixture, I will be mixing that again. And then I will be adding my flour. So I'm gonna mix some eggs in the wet. 
because that's wet as well. Mix that down good, and then I'm going to add my flour mixture into the bowl. Now, I don't add it all at one time. I add um, some cups full, and then I mix it around, and then I add some more. Now you see all the white on the side. Eventually I get my spatula and start scraping that down. You know you gotta scrape it down. Scrape, scrape it down, scrape it down to get all of that from the side, the extra, so you can be able to have everything incorporated together. All right, have to mix for a while to get all the flour mixed in with the wet. And that's about it. We at the end of this mixing. So the next thing we just need to do is what? Put it in the pan. So you see I have my plastic spatula here and I am going to scrape the sides down so that everything can be incorporated into my batter. At this time, I just want to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos, being a part of my channel. And those who are not part of my channel, please do so. Please become a part, a member of my channel. Subscribe to my channel. And also hit the like bucket, button, not bucket, the button, so I can be able to get, um, you can follow along when I have other things. And also share, share my video out to other people. I'm still working on getting a thousand subscribers as well as getting my my viewing up so I can get monetized. So I'm still working on that. Got to be consistent in my videos, I know. But I, I'm very thankful for what I have. I'm thankful for you all that watch my videos. So I'm scraping down the top sides, getting the sides clean, and going to mix it some more. And once I mix it some more, it'll be ready to be placed in the pan. It's such a wonderful thing to be in the kitchen cooking. I love baking. I love cooking. I love making different items and trying new things and having people <laughs> to try them. And I have plenty of people that would love to be my tasters. And they all, when I show it, they'd be like, you got some of it? And I say, yeah, would you like to try it? And I love giving them out. Cause I don't, the thing is I cook these and I make these items, but I don't eat all this. I do not eat all that. So now it's time to put them in the baking dishes. Now, these are my medium loaf pans I'm placing them in. I did line them up with some parchment paper, but these are liners that I had got from the Dollar Tree that's already pre-cut. So that was a great thing that I had. I had those already, the pre-cut ones. I could just put that right up in there. And I sprayed it down inside, and I also sprayed it on top of the liners as well. I noticed that this batter was a little bit thicker than my... um zucchini because zucchini zucchini holds a lot of water in it so i didn't need i didn't have enough for four but i had enough for three of these loaves pan from this one um batch uh, because it wasn't a whole um big one i was able to use these smaller pans and put make three of the smaller loaves of sweet potato bread and remember, this is a sweet bread, what I'm making. So it's like a breakfast bread or um, a good dessert. I did make some cream cheese drizzle frosting on top and sprinkle a little bit of powdered sugar on top. And I made some big fluffy muffins too, if you've seen some of the pictures that I have. Um, I posted recently on my Facebook page as well as on my YouTube page. So we're going to place those in there. And I did, you know, a lot of sweet potato pies, what we usually put on it, 
pecans, right? Pecans, like some people want to be proper. So I got some pecans, yeah, some pecans, and I put them pecan, crushed them up, and I put them in this sweet potato. Now I did make some bread without nuts, but these three loaves got some nuts. I put in a bowl, got my little crusher, crushed them up because they was whole, so they won't be so thick on top. And then I sprinkle it with some more little fine of that sugar that I have, that organic sugar from the raw. I sprinkle that on top, and you know that was on point now. You know what time it was right then. So I'm getting the pecans right there out, getting a bowl and one of my um, macer um, um, grinders, I guess. I don't know what they call you. It's the little one I have right there. I got big ones as well. So that's the first one I found. I took some pecans out, and then I'm going to go ahead and grind it up, press it down to make it a little bit more um, chewable when you get it in the bread. Because sometimes when you leave them whole like that, it's too too big when you get a bite of the bread so you want it to have bite size when you're doing this as well and you know see i got my coffee yes it was morning time i needed my cup of coffee and those on the stove is also some more smaller pans that i use when i'm baking as well so i'm placing my placing my pecans right in the middle on top of that and now I'm going to take my butter knife and swirl it down inside of it because the reason why I didn't add it into the batter when it, before I put it in there because I wasn't for sure was I going to add nuts or not Usually, if I was going to do a bread with nuts, I'll put it in later, and then I just I will, um, fold it in before I pour it into the pan. But this time, I didn't know I wanted to do it or not, and then I decided at the last minute. So I said, let me just throw it on top and just swirl it around into the bread. And it turned out wonderfully like that. It did. Because the, now the pecans is not just all dig down in it. It's on the top and in the middle. It's like when every bite, when you get down in it, you got a new flavor. So awesome. Yes. It looks so good. Ready to. One thing, I adjusted my temperature of my oven, too, for my oven. The recipe called that you put it on 350. But I noticed with my oven, it was browning too fast. So I put it on... 325 and that's the temperature I cook all my bread on now and it comes out much better when I do want 325 so I sprinkle some more of that sugar from the raw right on top some organic right on top some organic sugar never I don't use white sugar remember I told you that don't bake with white sugar always use brown sugar or organic cane sugar and the sugar from the raw and once I put that right on top, it's time to put it in the oven. And it was cooked for 50 to um, 60 minutes. And look at it now. Beautiful sweet potato bread with nuts, pecans. Oh, my goodness. Now, I hope you'll be able to see that other picture that I placed on here. I hope I put it in this video of how it looked after I had took it out and drizzled it with that cream cheese frosting. And sprinkled it. Here go the pictures right now. Wait for it. Bam. Awesome, right? Be blessed.